Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. So I'm working on a little bit today. I had just a little bit of time. Um, by the way, um, the two flights I took yesterday, they went like extremely well. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's hard work um, learning to fly a tail dragger. And especially, you know, I mean, that particular airplane, uh, the Satabria, is just so much fun to fly. Um, it's like, it doesn't care if it's, if you fly it crooked or straight, which is an advantage and it's a disadvantage. Um, but I, I would say um, out of my 20 landings I made yesterday, my, uh, I think probably at least uh, half of them were go-arounds and uh but that's really what the instructor wanted to see was that as soon as i bounced that i was increasing the throttle and pulling the stick back um, because my uh, initially when I, we first started doing wheel landings uh, my tendency was to want to correct the bounce by pushing the stick forward and so i had to work really hard to get that out of my head that that's not what i want to do um, that I, I'm, I think I'm used to in a nose wheel airplane. When you bounce, you kind of pitch and then flare real quick. Uh, but you don't want to do that in a tail dragger, especially this Satabria. So it's a, a go around works every time. So that's the lesson I learned yesterday. And, uh, but you know, four, five, uh, six um, landings were, uh, were not bad. And, um, it, uh, it went pretty well, so I think I have maybe one more one more lesson. I'll probably get uh, my endorsement. So it's been uh, it's been quite an adventure. But today <clears throat> I've got this piece uh, in the front here. I've got that made, and I want to get that uh, attached to the windscreen as well. And then I'm going to come to the side, and I'm going to get these other uh, four pieces: the two over here and the two on the other side. Uh, get those kind of in position and have a little um, larger hole here because I'm going to use 832 screws and what I'm going to actually do so that I have uh, um, I'll put it this way in order for me to access and work on my instrument panel I actually have to remove this assembly um, although it's just there would just be no other way to do it unless I had built my panel where the front came off instead of the back but I'm not sure I want to do it that way anyhow I think I want I want the back to come off rather than the rather than the front and uh, so I'm gonna use nut plates underneath here so that all I'll have to do is remove these two bolts and then I'll have nut plates everywhere to uh, quickly be able to remove the 832 screws and just pick up the whole <clears throat> excuse me pick up the whole assembly and take it off the plane so um, yeah so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes and uh, Clico this one in place I just have a piece of tape holding me on my center line right here so uh, now I'm just gonna fit this piece up in there and part of me Uh, part of me wishes I would have extended this a little bit right here uh, so that I came all the way down, but um, it didn't work out that way. So, but I'm not going to fuss over it. I'm just going to leave it, <clears throat> leave it as it is. And uh, when it's, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I won't get into all that, but, and I'm going to make these pieces here for the side and then um, get those also attached to there. Uh, oh yeah, what I, what I said was what I'm working towards is I need to be able to paint all of the aluminum hinges and my upright piece um, with my uh, zinc chromate primer because uh, I need to get that painted prior to actually um, completing the assembly. So. Because I don't want I don't want to see the silver on the inside. I actually want to see the green, so uh, I need to paint that first, get that in place. So I'm going to get hopefully the rest of the pieces cut here, and get them going, and then um, 
uh, we should be in uh, we should be in really good shape to uh, to get that um, start kind of riveting everything together. So, all right. All right. So I got my pieces uh, got my pieces all cut here, and uh, I could have probably notched this one, notched the piece left the top one going across and just notched the bottom one. Uh, but it might have interfered with the bolt, so uh, I'm going to leave it like that. <clears throat> and then when I um, when I paint, what I'll actually do is I'll I'll just go ahead and paint right on across uh, across. I'll tape that off so that gets painted as well. Then you won't it won't be something noticeable really from the inside. Uh, yeah, so now I'll get the holes drilled in uh, these four pieces, and once I get that done then I'll be able to take everything apart <clears throat> and I can actually get some uh hedge back lid there <laughs> um then I'll be able to uh get all the aluminum primed and once I get it primed uh then we'll be able to um we'll have to peel back some of the uh some of the protective covering when we actually kind of permanently uh rivet it together but uh we'll do the best we can <clears throat> and try and keep it protected along the way but you know I have to say in general I'm just really really happy um, with the way this looks um, I understand your point very well um, I realize it's a little bit draggy all right so let me get to this part and then we'll uh, we'll just keep uh, we'll keep moving forward here I just got a bunch of holes to drill uh, clean up those holes and then after I get that done then I'll actually be able to kind of um, test fit everything and uh, yeah and then we'll get everything painted all right all right so I got this uh, I got this all taken care of here and uh, these are all clicoed in place in right where uh, right where they belong and so that uh, that looks really good and then after I uh, after I got that done, I've been wanting to kind of get started on the uh, the headrest is next, so I'm just got a kind of a mock-up going here of what the uh, headrest is going to look like. So um, got the forward piece and the side. I got another side to cut, and then it gets a piece on the top. Obviously, it tapers back, and it'll get mounted. A uh, couple brackets here, bracket here. There'll be a block here, and then I'll have a, have a bracket here, a bracket here, bracket there, bracket there. I considered uh, uh, making it uh, open um, w uh, with a kind of a glove compartment, but I just sort of changed my mind there because I've got a little room for, I was what I was looking for was, I just want a place to put a couple chalks and things um, if I go somewhere, and I've got plenty of room to make a little box if I need to down underneath behind the seat so that'll work out good and then over on the right side I'm gonna make a uh, little chart holder I mentioned this in my last video well I went to the leather place and picked up some leather um, I was thinking I was gonna get like rectangle pieces um, but I ended up with a with a whole shoulder so <laughs> it's not but it's gonna be great so uh, you know I've got uh, I've got that I've got some nice dark brown um, stain for it and then kind of a finish that goes on it and what I'm thinking I'm gonna make is uh, I'm gonna take a chart fold it up so I've got a nice pocket to fit it fit the chart in and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch a another piece on the front where I can put my uh, airworthiness and my registration and maybe a pin holder so uh, who knows I've got uh, a lifetime supply of uh, leather for that purpose so <laughs> um, anyway plenty to experiment with there so that's good and uh, yeah so I am uh, looking really really good here super happy and everything worked out over here everything fits really good um, I believe this is gonna make a very rigid uh, assembly 
when when this is actually screwed to the ground and three, four, five, screwed to the deck, sorry. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one nut plates. Um, and what I'll do with those, I ordered some uh, flush rivets, so I'm going to actually rivet those, flush rivet those um, to the deck. So it'll just be super easy to spin those out and uh, take out the two bolts, remove this whole assembly. And uh, that'll be great. So, hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Not a whole lot, but uh, hey, every piece is a step forward and closer to completion. I've got a tech counselor I've made contact with. Um, even though I'm one myself, like I've said before, I can't tech counsel my own plane. So um, he's gonna come over this week sometime and have a look at the plane so I can start uh, kind of getting some uh, getting some varnish on, uh, get urethane on, get everything sealed up um, on the uh, wings and the tail surfaces. And then uh, getting really close to being able to do the same with the fuselage after I get all this stuff mounted. Um, that'll be uh, really good. And yeah, and then eventually I'll take it all apart. Uh, I've still got to round the uh, front and back of my gear legs. Uh, I'll do that after I get it off of here. And uh, you know, just a couple things. But anyway, um, yeah, so I will uh, uh, catch you guys later. All right. <laughs>